Gaming Subs is currently celebrating a new Christmas sale, releasing a new waifu cup and also extra goodies depending on how much money you do spend. And lucky for you lads, you can get 10% off using code Espada. Alright lads, the soul pose selection is finally here and we're going to be doing some summons. So the main goal for today is to mainly go all the way to step number 6 where we are guaranteed our first and only 5 star character. The character pool this time around is actually really good but I'm still going to be limiting myself here because I'm not really that comfortable doing more than 6 deaths on these type of banners. And I like the idea that I can just be in and out and still have plus 5,000 orbs for the end of year banner which will be getting announced in less than 2 days time. So if you haven't already gathered up a lot of orbs, I wouldn't recommend summoning on this banner until we see what the end of year banner is. I can afford to go to step number 6 and still do 25 steps on the end of year banner, so that's why I'm summoning right now. Otherwise, I would have been waiting to see what end of year is. Now, the main goal for today's video is to try and get duplicates of Beyond Resurrection Okura. The third anniversary remake is the character we are going for today. In terms of characters that I do not own, I'm only missing Byakuya, so if I can get him, that would also be really good. Anyone else would actually be good. The only character we don't want to see here is, to a certain extent, Maid Orihime, because I only need a 1 out of five i don't need duplicates of her and i don't need duplicates of eighth anniversary whites and also renewed ichigo the quincy ichigo remake those two characters are already max transcended i don't need anyone's dupes and for the most part in this video we are selling for dupes because any character here i use on a regular basis and if i could get this focus nor any duplicate i would say that's a w so last year we walked away quite happy even though we only did six steps let's hope for the best here step number one it's going to be the free multi are we going to get a fake out potentially no fake out for today on our free step. So that's one thing we have to keep in mind, right, with these step-up summons. We are slowly building up the rates, right? So step number two, what is the rates looking like? 5% rate. 5% rate discounted. Come on, because we're only doing like seven... We're only doing six multis. We need to get five stars early on, and it doesn't look like it's happening. Unless... Ah, oh, no, it minds <laughs> All right, that's fine. I was quite happy being at 8,000 orbs, I will say. R real quick, while we're here, let's just do the free multi. Multi number seven. I have gotten absolutely nothing from these multis, but it might just change today. Maybe. Never mind. So, <laughs> I might not even upload this video. It's just golden multis after golden multi. What's going on? All right, step number six. What is the rates looking like right now? Are we up to 6%? We are up to 6%. That's not bad. I believe it's 4% for a featured here, though, so it's actually a tad bit lower, but 6% is 6%? No, it's not. 6% is 1%. What's going on? It's end of year. It's post selection. <laughs> We're going to walk away with like two five stars in this video. All right, surely at this point, you don't want to get shafted because it's 7.5% it's, it's rates. It's full price orbs. Any multi after here, four, five, and six. We want to see five stars only. Let's go. I'm rubbing hands. Good luck. I got my game of subs. Let's go. Potential. Doesn't look like it. Ah. Oh. Man, what is going on? What is going on? This was supposed to be a celebration. We're getting shafted. All right. As long as this multi can come through and give us a five star, I'll happily take two five stars, right? If they can be good options or good characters of the selection. Multi number five, though. Damn. No mind. Come on. Okura, let's see. We have our first five star. Come on. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not like this. That was the jump scare. I kind of forgot he was in the banner. I know I said I didn't want him, but damn. That's a good pull. Any other account, that would have been amazing. On my account, though, I used Rainbow Moose Source. I don't regret using it because I did it over like six months ago. Since then, I've gotten two already. Of all the cards we could have gotten, I would have taken a duplicate of Orihime over an 8th anniversary wipe. I'm going to keep it, though. I don't want to sell it because uh, it's it's it feels bad selling, you know, overpowered characters like 8th anniversary characters, right? Anyway, moving on to our guaranteed step here. We are just a shy of 7,000 orbs. That is a good amount of orbs for the end of the year. And assuming end of year is 25 steps, I won't have to spend more than 5,000. Let's get it, though. Can we get someone good? Preferably Okura. And we're getting for our guaranteed 5 star. Ruraka. Ruraka. It's all right. It's all right. It's a duplicate. I do the farm links or potions. Focus slot. Honestly, not bad. Was it worth the thousand orbs though? Probably not. If I got other stuff along the way, I would have been happy with that. But there's a potential two one. Okay. Okay. We got the one character we were missing. That's good. That's good. That turns my eighth anniversary white into a, a links or character. We'll take it. Okay. At least we walked away with the one character we were missing. Can we get a free in one though? Eight percent rate. Eight percent rate. Oh. And Jushiro, no way! No way! As if we actually pulled him. 
<laughs> Let's go. That's a multi. That is a multi. That was worth my 1,000 orbs. All right, for those that don't know, the unfeatured pull rate is the other characters that didn't get into the banner. So you can get Jushiro, a character that almost got into post selection this year, into the top 12. Uh, but unfortunately, he's on the he's in the 2% pull rate. So it's like a very, very low chance to get him. The fact that we just got that, though. Damn. Damn, that was a sick multi. That really did save it. We got the two characters from the same banner, funny enough, and they were actually really good characters. Biakya is a plus five Lynx or Farmer, so that's definitely going to get put to use easily. Easily going to get put to use. And then Jushiram is a plus 10 Lynx or Farmer, so now I have access to most of the plus 10 Lynx or Farmers in the game. I'm only missing Grimja, I believe, and also Momo. But he's also potentially really good in Guild Quest for buffing a really overpowered Technique Sorper that we might get at the end of the year, who knows? But he does also buff Ichibei, so I'm really happy with that. We were about to walk away with an L, but in 1,000 orbs, we walked away with two plus 10 Lynx or Farmers, a plus five Lynx or Potion Soul Tree, and also a duplicate of an anniversary character. Unfortunately, on my account, though, I can't make much use of that. But anyone else thought that would have been a, a, a great set of summons. Great set of summons. I was tempted to maybe go to the next step, but I think we're going to back out there. 250 orbs from that multi. We will gladly, gladly take it. Gladly take it. All right, then. So jumping over to my third account, right? Remember, I have access to three accounts. My second account in particular is skipping this, this whole banner. I just don't need to pull on it. I have access to every character in that banner, and most of the characters are five out of fives. So no need for my second account to pull on it, but this account doesn't have access to barely any characters here. In fact, I have no idea who I'm missing. I believe the entire banner, though, but let's just pull on it and see what we get, right? It'll be a surprise for both you and me what character we might potentially get. And that first multi might... Bring us a five star. Bring it on. Bring it on. What are we getting? What are we getting on the first multi? Mila Rose. Damn. Plus 10 links of fun on the first multi. You'll love to see it. Let's skip it though because uh, it's already made fake out. New character already. That's all back. We've already made profit. We can stop there. We're not going to though. Step number two. 150 orbs. I'm on blue stacks by the way. The FPS might be not the greatest compared to what we have seen in the past. Is that another five? It's a fake out. Woo! If only this happened on the main. If this only happened on the main. Who be getting? Rangiku 2. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that was uh, Orohime fake out, right? What's the chance we get a 2-1 here? It'd be very low. Let's just skip it. Another new character. Another new character. Oh. Can we, can we keep it up? Can we get the legendary 5-star every multi until the guarantee where we stop? Maybe. Let's keep it going. What's the draw rate for this? 6%? Surely. Another five? No. Doesn't like it. Never mind. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's going on? Come on. No way. No way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think that's new. Uh, this account was created after the 8th anniversary. So, wow. Wow. Let's just skip it again. Another new character. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's get another one. Let's keep it up. 7%. Come on, Caleb. Let's get the legendary 5-star multi every step. Can we do it? It's a Tsukushima. It's a Tsukushima. Oh, my God. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> and you ruined it. Is that Tesla? I will take it, though. It's new. I, I believe it's new. I actually don't know. I don't think it is. But, hey, it's a 5-star. 2-in-1, right? So, Mads. Another Mila Rose. Unironically, this is like one of our worst multis. Uh, but still, a 2-in-1 is great. A 2-in-1 is great. There's no shot we get a 3-in-1 though, right? I've yet to see an Eisen fake out. That would be cool if we can get that. But damn, so two duplicates, but we'll take it. That's the focus slot for Mila Rose. That's actually really good for just extra DPS. This right here is the last multi that isn't a guaranteed 5-star. We might just do it. I think I've done it before. I can't remember though. This might be the first time we see it. Can I get a five-star every multi on the seven-step format? Can we do it? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Who are we getting? Ruruka. We swept the whole swimsuit banner. Plus 10 links of farmer. Let's go. Let's get a two and one. Let's get greedy. Let's get greedy. I want to tap through it. I don't like skipping. Unless I'm confident we're not going to get a five-star. Come on. All right. That's fine. It's another new character. 
<laughs> it is another new character. All right, last multi, guaranteed five star. Uh, hopefully, in this case, we can actually get two in one because that means we would get a five star in addition to the guaranteed five star. And then we can truly say that we got a five star every multi, you know, ignoring the guaranteed step. But if we can get a fan of Ashi Ichigo beyond Okiura, that'd be really good here. Who are we going to get, though? Let's find out. Okiura, man. Man. What an insane set of summons. That would have been really good on my, my main account, but I'm not, I'm not disappointed what main to get. Come on, can we get a 2 and 1? Can we get a 2? Yes, we can! And we got in! And we got in! <laughs> oh my god. Can we get a 3? We got a 3! We got a 3! What is going on? Oh my god. Can we get a 4? Can we get a 4? No, we can't. It don't look like it. That was insane. That was insane. We have to keep going. We have to keep going. Last multi. Let's do the seven, the legendary seven step. <laughs> Let's do the legendary seven step. <laughs> this is about to ruin it. We should have ended it here. We should have ended it here. Eight percent. Ah, oh, we've ruined it. We've ruined it. All right, that, that's where we stop it. That's where we stop it. But man, my heart is beating out of my chest. What just happened in those eight multis? Oh, the 6-6 six, six multis. Let, let's ignore the last one. Absolute roller coaster. I would have preferred it to happen on my main account, honestly, but still, that's insane. All right, let's sort by new, because again, I, I haven't actually done a lot of work on this account. I, I pulled for Yachu a few weeks ago, and I've yet to even max her out. So starting from Mila Rose, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5 stars in 6 multis. That is insane, and a lot of them are new, right? We've got two plus ten links of farmers. We've got an amazing super links of farmer, a new eighth anniversary character in the form of eighth anniversary white, plus a duplicate for him, and also a duplicate of two characters that I do want to get duped out on any account because, you know, I care about Gilquest, Okura, and then, you know, Ishin's there too. He's a brave art character. I don't mind it. Wow. Wow. What an insane set of summons. I am perfectly happy with the summons on both of my accounts. This account was absolutely insane on their summons. What am I main only picked up four new characters two of them are good duplicates you know not white but again i haven't five five i can't really complain but we did get two new characters and for my account that's actually a rarity especially given the fact that you know jusha was here when he has like a super low pull rate considering that he is in the two percent either way though i am absolutely blown away with these summons and you know what this is only a warm-up for the end of the year because you know we're gonna have some insane summons there in the comments below let me know how your summons did go if you summoned on this banner again i would still recommend most people to wait Two more days, less than 40 hours until the reveal at the end of the year before deciding to summon on this banner. But if you have spare orbs and you know you can afford to summon on both this and the end of the year, well, you might as well throw six multis at it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.